Have you guys missed me? I know, it's been a whole week. Welcome back to week number four of Meatless Mondays. Um, I was in the kitchen cooking some other stuff, so I figured I'm gonna keep on going and I'm gonna show you today's Meatless Monday. We're gonna bring it to the Italian side and make like an eggplant ragu, and instead of spaghetti, we're gonna use zucchini. We had a request about someone making zucchini noodles and using them. And then on here, we're gonna make our ragu with onions and garlic, fresh tomatoes and eggplant, parsley. Gonna garnish our pasta with a little ricotta, cause why not? We're gonna use olive oil, and those are our zucchinis for zoodle. Lots of different opinions about eggplant. Um, peel it, don't peel it. But for what we're doing today, uh, cooking it down with a ragu, I peel it. Sometimes with my eggplant parm, I don't peel it. Sometimes I do, depends on what kind of mood I'm in. But I definitely want to peel my eggplant for the ragu because we're going to cook it low and slow. And I don't want when you eat it to be eating skins and falling off from the eggplant. Um, so I'm going to peel this and I'm going to cut it into a medium dice. I want to have some body to it because it is going to cook down. Um, and I'm going to put it in this bowl and we're going to cut the tomatoes in quarters because those are going to cook down as well. Just so you can see, a lot of people sometimes message me and ask me about knife skills and dicing and feeling comfortable. So I just cut the eggplant in half. I'm gonna cut them in long strips around this thick. Then I do them in sticks. And then I dice. Um, so I wanna do, like I said, a nice medium dice because these are gonna cook down. Um, if you feel comfortable and you're good with a knife, you can stack your eggplant up and cut multiple layers at once. Um, if you're not, practice makes perfect. So start with one layer and work your way to the next one. Let's make a eggplant ragu. Sorry, I took a bite of some onions. Hot pan. Garlic. Let's get that sweating before we add our eggplant. My onions and garlic have sweated out really nice. I'm gonna add our eggplant, toss it around all that oil, and I'm gonna get a little red wine to glaze the pan so we can start building our ragu. Just so you know, I changed my mind. I'm going with white wine instead. Just gonna deglaze the pan a little bit. And I'm gonna add our tomatoes in, and our fresh basil and parsley. We're gonna, I'm gonna get some tomato paste and we're gonna let this cook down. Tomato paste, that's the type I like. Put a nice squeeze on here. Woo! Came out a little fast. And give it a toss. So in here we have our white wine that glaze the pan. Our eggplant, which are gonna give off a lot of water and cook down as well. And just gonna wipe that. We did the tomato paste. Our ragu is going, it smells outrageous. I have it on nice and low, and it's just slowly cooking out. It's like natural sugars from the tomatoes, the eggplant. I'm gonna also slice with some fresh basil to go on at the end, but this smells so good. Low and slow. Okay, the ragu's pretty much almost done. I'm gonna show you my trick. This is what takes mine to the next level at amazingness. Around a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar at the end now. The sweetness, the acidity. Um, you can also add a little bit of honey if you like, just to balance out the flavors. I'm gonna season it up with salt and pepper, and this is gonna be ready to serve on top of our zucchini noodles with that fresh ricotta. A little frustrated right now because I went and planned doing zucchini noodles with our eggplant ragu, and I never went and got a zoodler. Remember last time I did them with the peeler and I peeled them? So I'm still gonna go forth and make spaghetti. I'm gonna go really thin, just so you guys can see. I'm gonna go around, oops, look at even crack. Where's the camera up here? That thin, I'm gonna stack them. And I'm gonna go very, very thin. So I can make Short spaghetti. You gotta do what you gotta do. I'm not gonna go out to buy a zoodler right now. Quick saute of my fake zucchini noodles right here. 
quick saute. Hot pan, olive oil, salt, and pepper. One, two, three, put them on the side so we can scoop the ragu on top. Okay, there's our fresh ricotta, the eggplant ragu over the zucchini noodles. A little salt, pepper, parmesan, and basil. Um, let's try it. Now, yes, personally, I think if we had a zoogler, it would be so much more fun. Um, you don't have to put the ricotta. I just like cheese on everything. I love eggplant. This is good. This is real good. And I don't feel like I'm missing meat. But I don't think I'd enjoy it as much without the ricotta. I'm definitely, for the kids, if they didn't like the zucchini noodles, which my kids do, I'd make they plant ragu with their pasta if you want something a little bit more substantial or heavier. Um, but perfect bite, a little bit of everything.